Hello, and welcome to Historical Humans Reads, where we take primary sources and bring them to your screen. I'm Callum Coleman, and today we are reading from an 1835 Russian fairy tale written by a man regarded as both the father of modern Russian literature and Russia's greatest poet. The story is the tale of the golden cockerel, and the man is none other than Alexander Pushkin. The tale of the golden cockerel tells of a mighty czar who, believing his neighbors intend to invade his domain, places his trust in an astrologer who claims to own a golden bird capable of magically detecting any impending invasion. It is the last story written by Pushkin in poetic verse. Today, we'll be reading the opening lines of the tale of the golden cockerel by Alexander Pushkin. And with that, let's begin. In country far and days long gone, there lived a famous czar, Daedon. When young, his strength was held in awe. By all his neighbors, he made war. Whether he declared it right, with age, he grew less keen to fight. Desiring his deserved peace, struggle should stop. War's clamor cease. His downtrodden neighbors saw their chance, and armed with dagger, sword, and lance, attacked his frontiers at will, making the old czar maintain still an army of 12,000 men, with horses, weaponry, and then appoint highly paid generals to guard the kingdom's threatened walls. But when they watched the west, twas sure the eastern border, less secure, would be where the hostile troops appeared, the danger greatest, where least feared. Eastward, the generals sally forth, only to find that now the north border is where the danger lies. Tormented thus, Zardadon cries, hot tears of rage he cannot sleep, o'er the land foe stream, then from the deep. What is life worth when so assailed? So desperate Dadon availed, himself of magic turning to a sorcerer and eunuch too, interpreter of omens, stars, bird flights and such particulars, the courtier sent to call the sage implied there would be a handsome wage and arrived at court, the wise old man disclosed with confidence his plan. The golden cockerel he drew out of his bag by magic knew, who would attack and win and where, enabling the generals to prepare. Just watch and listen, said the sage. Dadon responded, I engage, if this be so to grant his fee, whatever you request of me. So set the cock as weather vane upon the highest spire to remain. Watchful, attentive, he will show you where to arm and where to go. Superior intelligence will always be the best defense. This has been an excerpt from the tale of the golden cockerel on historical humans reads. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more excerpts from original texts, please subscribe to be notified of the next one. If there is a work you would like to hear, be sure to like this video and leave a comment listing it below. Thank you for listening.